What's happening, everybody? It's me again, and I hope I didn't say that too soon because I don't think the timer even started. I've cut off the beginning there. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Uh, welcome to part one of the Get Her Done series. Uh, why Get Her Done? Because uh, me and my buddy Ruben were out perusing through a couple of stores, and we happened across these Larry the Cable Guy brand potato chips. These happen to be Bacon Ranch. I was going to do the three flavors that I found in one video, but now I'm going to break it down so you don't have to sit through an entire video if you don't want to. Starting with Bacon Ranch, because this was the first one I grabbed. <clears throat> I like bacon, I like ranch. How about you guys? And it's on a tater chip. This guy's really making his rounds, man, for someone who's not even really a redneck. Life's better with bacon. It is. It can be. And then these... It just says tater chips. It doesn't say, like, kettle cooks or anything. Ooh! Well, these smell interesting. Yeah, they're regular old chips. Well, I don't think they're kettle cooked. Nah. After a little while on the old palate, the bacon really comes out of these things. Definitely taste some ranch in there. Usually when it's a ranch chip, I don't know, it's just me maybe, but I kind of like to see the herbs and stuff popping off the chip. I see a little flex of flavor there, but I don't know. I'm just weird that way. When it's, when it's a dill chip, I like to see little bits of dill on it. Nitpicky, I tell you. Mmm. Well, artificially flavored. What can I expect, right? It's a three ounce bag. I forgot how much these cost. Buck fifty, two bucks maybe? Two fifty? I don't remember. I really don't remember. This was about a week ago. Um we got a mutated chip in here. They're not, uh, they're not bad, they're just not, like, stunning, you know, not like, whoa, all the bacon and all the ranch, and eh, it's bacon and ranch, you can taste it. Wimpy, wimpy flavors are for sissies. These flavors will knock out your snack cravings like a cop kicking down a trailer door. Come on, man. Shoot, they are so good, I'd save yourself the trouble and grab a second, third, or fourth bag right now. I picked out these here flavors just for you. Now what in the world are you waiting for? Get her done. Each purchase supports Larry the Cable Guy's Get Her Done Foundation. Hmm. No, it's a charity that helps people who have uh, faced hardships beyond their control. That's noble. I'm, I'm good with that. But let's get back to the matter at hand. Larry the Cable Guy's Bacon Ranch Artificially Flavored Teeter Chips. I give it a fair seven. It, it's not really knocking my socks off as far as the flavor is concerned. But um, they're not bad. They're not bad. A uh, little thin, okay. A little thin. Like, I wouldn't even bother trying to... Well, they're, they're kind of firm. I'd probably try, you know, maybe a little ranch dip just to kick up the flavor a little bit. 
lightly scoop it on there. Um, but dipping chips are usually like ruffled or uh, kettle cooked. They, they withstand the weight of the dip. But these aren't these aren't bad. I think seven is more than fair. Found these at a local liquor store. We were just checking out the items that they had there. And uh, found these there. Uh, I haven't seen them any other place. Um, maybe at the local grocers. I'm not sure. Uh, but if you happen to find them, give them a try. Not the worst chip I've ever had. Stay tuned. I'll be right back with uh, part two. Thanks, guys.